Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Homeschool in the Woods. So today I'm going to be showing you a flip through of the energy unit from the good and the beautiful. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so here is the energy unit from the good and the beautiful. It is really nice. It I put it in this green binder. It's really big. So it was I like to put it in page protectors so it makes it really thick. That's why I have such a big binder. Um it comes loose loose leaf, it it's not bound at all, so because everybody likes to do it differently. That's just how they make it, and so anyway, starting off, there is vocabulary words, which you cut each of these out. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, I have several, several pages of them. I just have them in there right now. And you put them on your science wall, but yeah, that's really nice. So. Starting off, we have a table of contents. I think there is 18 lessons in all. It is unit information next. Um, each student has to have a science journal. You could use a binder, um, some type of folder, anything will work. Just something to keep their papers in and give them extra paper. A science wall, which you can just use, you know, your wall. Um, we actually are going to use an old piano that's really tall that's in our homeschool room. It's a family heirloom and it doesn't have any purpose anymore so it's going to become part of our science I guess. So, And it has lesson preparation, lesson mini books. It comes, you have to cut out these little uh, mini books and staple them together for certain lessons and there's lots of activities and experiments um it has a supply list i'll show you here in a minute of all the stuff you need but a lot of the stuff is stuff you already have but there'll probably be some stuff that you have to buy because i know there was some stuff i had to buy probably some stuff i still have to buy so but um there's going to be a lot of that and they have video recordings um, at thegoodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos. Click on the energy link and I guess they, I haven't looked at these yet, but there's videos showing you how to do the experiments. Um, yeah, that'll be helpful for me because I'm not a science person. So, these are the two books that are the read aloud pack. It's optional. I went ahead and bought it. Um, I don't have them yet. That's why I can't show you. But they look like they would be really good. So I got those coming for the kids. Um, there is lesson extensions for grades 7 and 8. Or 7 to 8. Um, my kids, I just have up to 5th grade. So we don't have to do this yet. But I like that they have this option. Because we're not far off from that. And yeah, that's going to be really good to have that. Once my kids get a little older, because I still want to teach them all together, but still, you know, have them get what they need to get from science. So, and here is supplies needed. Lesson one it shows you all the stuff that is needed. As you can tell, it's a lot of stuff that you already have. Um, I mean, there's some stuff that you might have to get, and. I'll show you Here's some of the lessons. But anyway, yeah, it does that for every lesson up to there's 18 lessons all together. Got another page of that. Sorry if it's glaring. Got light from the window here. And then we move on to lesson one. What is energy? And it has the objective at the top. Um, help the children understand what energy is and learn the different forms of energy. 
identify examples of energy in everyday life. And then preparation. Assemble the mini book, A World of Energy Included. For each child, print one copy of the Energy Hunt page and cut apart forms of energy cards included. And then it also has the activity supplies, again, right there. And then it takes you step by step on how you teach. So it'll tell you at first, okay, so you're going to do the energy activity here. And then after you do that, read to the children. Now, lesson mini book, World of Energy. So you would read that. And then here's another activity, matching and memory game. Um, that would be the form of energy cards that they use. And then they give you the answer key right here. And um, the science wall, it tells you when to use, um, to cut out your vocabulary words, to put them on your science wall. It tells you when to do that. Um, and then it goes through some experiments, like exploding bags, as you can see. I'm sure there's videos on all of this. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, rubber band shooting, bake a treat. And then they have to do their science journal, which would be the energy hunt. And then all the um, activities I keep in a page protector next to that lesson. So all lesson one activities are in this um, page protector right here. So this is a world of energy. This is the mini book. The really, the pictures are just beautiful. The, it's just, and this paper is really thick, by the way. They're not, it's not TZ quality. It is, it is good stuff. So it should be able to hold up to kids messing with it and reading through it and stuff. Because my kids are pretty rough. Oh, and there is the form of energy cards. Like all those have to be cut out. I haven't done all the all the prep. I just mainly done the mini books and got those ready. And then here is lesson two, the transfer of energy, and it goes through everything again. The objective for that lesson is at the top. Um, activity supplies are all right there. Then it tells you what to do. Sorry guys, my battery just died, so I had to charge it up because I don't have a spare. Anyway, so where were we? We were at lesson two, transfer of energy, the activity supplies, read to the children. Um, there's a bowling activity in this one. I'm just gonna show you um, through like probably three or four lessons so you can kind of see how it's done. There's a hint. Um, there's the science wall, transfer, convert, the law of con conservation of energy, another activity, activity, and then the science journal, read to the children, and here's the activity of making a catapult. Out of popsicle sticks. Reaching our full potential. Lesson three. The sun energy source. So at the top it has the objective of the lesson again. Uh, preparation for the lesson. The sun and solar radiation. The mini book. And then you have your um, activity supplies. Um, it has where you would read your optional read aloud first. Um, they have a nature activity on this one. Um, it says if weather permits, go outside and look at the sky and world around you. That would be really fun. Give, what's it 
solar prints activity. Mm, sorry about the lighting. I had to turn the light on. It's gotten a little darker outside. Science journal, lesson mini book. Ideas may include. So yeah, as you can see, it, it makes it pretty easy to teach. Another mini book, the sun and solar radiation. Hmm. These are really nice books. Okay, these are gonna like them. And then there's a shoebox solar oven. So that's something that they get to make. Put that back in its spot. And that goes for this lesson. And there is the lesson extension. It just takes it deeper so, you know, if you have older kids that they're going to be getting what they need in this. So you can teach your older kids and your younger kids together and it's not going to be a problem. So. I'm not sure what all it's got going on there. I haven't read it, but it's there. So lesson four, atoms, molecules, and heat. Objective in the preparation. Activity supplies. Attention activity. Read to the child. Science wall, build an atom activity. I to use Play Doh for that. Let's see. That's pretty cool. The kids are really gonna like it. It's not just a dry textbook. It's gonna be hopefully make science come alive to them. That is my hope. <laughs> and they have a lot of nice, pretty pictures of this. There's another lesson extension. So that's all I'm going to show because I'm not going to go through the whole whole book because it would take forever. But I just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse into it. Let me shut this. But that's pretty much how it's laid out. And I'm going to show you what we keep our... Oops. Everything's falling out. Okay. So, this is our... We call our science box. We have a bunch of craft stuff in here. Um, I bought some stuff. Like, I just bought some paper plates. Um, craft sticks. And we have... I need to put that in the kitchen. Um, glue sticks for our glue gun. We have lots of Play-Doh because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of Play-Doh in the science unit. Um, let's see, we have food coloring. A lot of this I just buy from the dollar store because I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, stuff like rubber bands. We have Ziploc bags for stuff. Um, I just have some cups, some paintbrushes down here, and still two sticks. Um, there's probably going to be more stuff that I need to get, but right now this is what we got, and we'll just see how it goes from here. And I like to keep everything in this box. I can just kind of grab our science box, and it, it's most of what we need. Not everything, but because there's stuff I'm not going to be able to keep in here. Obviously, like any type of food stuff. Um, you know, stuff like that. But it just helps me kind of keep it together. And I keep it in this box here. I get from Walmart. But yeah, that is kind of a flip through of the Energy Science Unit. We are super excited about it. Um, my kids are really looking forward to science and... I'm even a little bit excited about it, so, and I don't like science. 
But anyway, I hope this helps you guys decide if this is something you want to do. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and come back. I will have more videos up soon. Thanks for watching, guys.